What's going on guys? Bob Buskirk here at Think Computers and today we have a very cool motherboard, a limited edition motherboard. It is the Asus Sabertooth Z97 Mark S. So let's go ahead and take a look. So the big thing that sets this motherboard apart from the normal Sabertooth Z97 is the thermal armor and more specifically it is the, the white camo theme. So it just looks really great and on top of that they match that with an all white PCB and that's something you never really see on motherboards these days. There's a couple of video card manufacturers that have done the white PCB but it's not something you see on a motherboard so that's what makes this truly limited edition and actually it's going to be really hard to see in the video but they actually give you the number the run number um, of what your motherboard is so ours is 1926 i'm not exactly sure how many of these they are making but it is limited edition and they let you know that number um, one other cool thing about the thermal armor is of course it gives you that really cool look on the front side of your motherboard and covers up a lot of the components and all of that but if you're not using say one of these PCI Express slots or something like that they actually have covers dust covers that will go over and of course keep dust from going in the ports and then keep that overall really cool look also you have these little air vents here um, around the CPU socket and you can actually install two fans, two extra fans actually on the thermal armor itself. One fan can go right here and then one fan can go up here. They don't come pre-installed. It's kind of like if you want to use them, you can and they do come included. Um, but these vents can be opened and closed with these little uh, buttons right here and that will allow you to direct the airflow if you happen to use the fan. Starting first at the CPU socket, we have Intel's LGA 1150 socket, and that of course supports Intel's fourth and fifth generation Haswell processors. Now, a lot of our power delivery components and all of that is actually covered by this, um, but it, it is an all digital power design, and you have the new tough MOSFETs as well as um, tough alloy chokes. On the top side of the motherboard, a lot of these connections are actually kind of hidden, so they're kind of out of sight and kind of hard to really see from other views. So we have our eight pin EPS connector. We have a little small fan header here, and that's for the optional fan that gets installed up here. We have a three pin fan connector. We have a CPU optional fan connector and our CPU fan connector. And the CPU fan connector is denoted in green to let you know that is for your main CPU fan. And if you had two fans on your cooler and wanted to control them independently, of course you have your optional CPU fan header. And they are both four pin headers. Moving over to the side of the motherboard, we have four DDR3 DIMM slots, and it's kind of hard to see in the video, but they are actually color-coded um, for, du for dual-channel operation. So you have a uh, black and then sort of a darker gray. Again, kind of hard to see in the video, but they are color-coded. And one thing I've always liked about ASUS motherboards is that the ends, the bottom ends of the DIMM slots, don't actually have the lock. So the top ones, of course, if I can do this, have those locks, but the bottom part, the bottom section does it. And the reason for that is if you have a long graphics card installed, sometimes it's really hard to remove that memory. If you need to, you actually have to remove your video card. So this makes it easy so you don't have to do that. Along the edge of the board, we have our mem OK button. And what that allows the system to do is that if you're having trouble booting your system because of memory, you don't know the timings or something's going wrong and you know it's the memory, you hit that button when you boot and it will go ahead and find the right timings for your memory so you can go ahead and get your system to boot. We have a four pin fan header and then we have our 24 pin ATX power connection. Moving down the board, we have a USB 3.0 header. We have one, two, three, four SATA six gig ports and those are controlled by the Z97 chipset. At the bottom right here, we have a SATA Express port and that again is controlled by the Z97 chipset. Now, if you don't have a SATA Express device, you can actually make use of these two um, SATA six gig ports down here for typical SATA drives. 
at the bottom of the board is where you're gonna find the rest of your connections and headers and all of that. So you have your front panel connections right here. And again, you don't really have to worry about these because you do have that Q connector, which makes it easier to connect to all of those. You have a four pin fan header. You actually have two more SATA six gig ports and these are the beige color. And that signifies that they're controlled by the AS Media chipset. You have two USB 2.0 headers, a second USB 3.0 header. You have two more fan connectors. You have your um, TPM header down here and then you have your front panel audio right here. The audio solution on this board is kind of covered by the thermal armor, but it uses the Re Realtek ALC 1150 eight channel audio codec, and you actually get full PCB isolation. We'll show you that when we flip this, this board over, but you get that full PCB isolation along, as, along with a ton of other features um, that we're gonna go into full detail in our full review. As far as expansion slots go, you have one, two PCI Express 3.0 X16 slots. You have a single PCI Express 2.0 X16 slot, and then you have one, two, three PCI Express X1 slots. As far as your rear I.O. goes, you have four USB 2.0 ports, and you can actually see this opening right here, and that's actually where that optional fan will be installed. You have our, your BIOS flashback button, which makes it extremely easy to go ahead and flash your BIOS with a USB flash drive. You have DisplayPort, HDMI, dual gigabit ethernet, four USB 3.0 ports, and of course your audio. Flipping the board over to the back, we have what Asus calls their tough fortifier. And what that does is it's actually a metal piece and it provides extra protection for the back of your motherboard. On top of that, it actually acts as a heat sink as well, um, you know, giving you that extra cooling power for some of the components on the board. Um, of course, keeping with the Mark S limited edition uh, kind of styling. We have the winter camo on the back as well. Also has a the ultimate force or tough logo right here, as well as saying limited edition. It looks really cool. And of course we can see that all white PCB. Of course, that, that's what this motherboard is known for. And as I talked about that audio solution on the board, you can actually see the PCB isolation right here, which again will light up when you have the motherboard turned on. So this wraps things up here for our quick unboxing and overview of Asus's Sabertooth Z97 Mark S limited edition motherboard. Now make sure you check back very soon on thinkcomputers.org as we'll have our full written review. And remember guys, if you enjoy our videos, why don't you subscribe? Catch you guys later.